Hello there. First of all, forgive the art state that I am in. It is currently 3 minutes past 11 at night in the UK. Um, so I want to talk about something that is very important to a number of people that sit on a certain tier within the YouTube community and that is what I am going to refer to as the invisible YouTuber. What I mean by the invisible YouTuber is people such as myself who I uh, me personally, I'm currently sitting on, I think it is, 127 subscribers. Now, why I say that this makes me an invisible YouTuber is that I don't have the required amount of subscribers or a particular niche or anything like that on YouTube. Um, niches on YouTube include things like being a gamer um, and obviously doing let's plays and things like that um, on the platform or through Twitch and things like that. Obviously Twitch is a separate platform and we're talking about YouTube. Uh, I'm sitting like this so you can't see my logo because I don't want to be accused of being spun um, for what I'm wearing. But basically, um, as I said, anybody who is below a certain amount of subscribers on this channel and be, be below a certain um, viewing figure, etc., isn't considered to be somebody that YouTube pays attention to. Now, because I don't have a niche and I've been slowly uploading less and less and less onto my channel and I have numerable channels that I did set up to cover separate issues. I was going to have my travel channel, a serious topics channel, my vlogging channel and then I recently set up a second vlogging channel um, that I was going to use to get to break away from certain things that I'm no longer participating in. Um, some of the stuff that I was doing would closely make me linked to things such as being a beauty vlogger um, because I was working for a business that you will be well aware of what business that is if you follow my videos at the time um, where I was doing demonstrations to show people on my YouTube. The issue is, if YouTube are not willing to pay attention to anyone until they get over 10,000 subscribers and I think it's 4,000 or more um, like minutes of um, hours rather of the watch time etc for the algorithm to uh, agree that um, you can now start earning money. Um, YouTube is something that I have to admit that initially um, one of the things is that you could earn money but I actually like doing it. I've been doing it as some of you will be aware since 2016 having pretty much not bothered with the channel between 2009 and 2016 and um, I generally tend to only upload now when I have something to say or something exciting to discuss in a video vlog. Um, so basically what I'm saying, which I kind of repeat in myself, is YouTube uh, needs to appreciate and support, and I've said this before, to YouTube. YouTube, you need to support people that are well below your 10,000 subscriber um, set that you have set up. Those of us that are even below 200 subscribers have been left in this limbo world of being invisible, of not being supported in ways of being able to improve their channels, to find a niche on their channels and things like that. If you are not willing to support those of us that need the support um, of 
the uh, YouTube and not just the community but the people that actually work at YouTube in London or YouTube in other countries at the HQs, then we're never going to get anywhere. Um, have you been watching some videos in regards to multi-channel networks or MCNs as they are known? Um, and what happens in regards to things like Defy Media? Uh, people such as myself uh, would not be joining an MCN of any kind because if we did start to earn money, we wouldn't want our money to be going through another party and them taking a cut before we even get it. YouTube has become increasingly a struggle for people to actually get subscribers on, to have a niche on. Uh, I personally don't believe that I should have a specific niche, that I should be just sticking to beauty, just sticking to vlogs, just sticking to travel, just sticking to serious topics. If um, I have a myriad um niche as it is i have many like areas to go off with in it's like a spider chat where by obviously sometimes i want to talk about a serious topic like how youtube isn't supporting anybody who does, who has less or isn't supporting people that have less than like a thousand subscribers right um i am very proud of those people that i have met in the youtube community that i've got to 5,000 subscribers, 6,000 subscribers more, uh, but please do not ignore and treat as invisible those of us that have only been using our channels that we've had set up for a long time, but only been using for like the last three, four years and not do anything to support us growing because how can we grow if the whole of YouTube HQ are not willing to have conversations with those of us that don't meet the criteria. Okay? I have had conversations with my son and with other people about having a particular niche, but um, I just feel that YouTube is increasingly paying very little attention to those of us that don't have don't meet the criteria that they want in the algorithm it's so impossible for us to even want to continue using it on a regular basis i was uploading daily um up to recently i've had some personal issues to deal with to do with my mental health and stuff which some of, some of my videos have covered um there's good and bad days there's things that i'm holding at the moment to not talk about until the uh, fingers crossed things actually pan out but um, basically what I'm saying is dear YouTube I am a person who has been using my channel for three four years I've managed to struggle up to 127 subscribers and would appreciate as I am sure a lot of us that are below the threshold of the criteria if we had more support from you, if we were invited to come to workshops of some kind that it will help us to learn about things that we may not necessarily learn about like how to edit better, how to do better thumbnails and things like that. Um, that's the kind of support really because at the end of the day what you're failing to realise is that those of us that are only on a low income can't afford to be going and spending hundreds of pounds and going to college and you know, getting that and i appreciate that you're a very busy business with a hell of a lot of some a hell of a lot of creators influencers that you know, upload every second to youtube but and have expanded out to other platforms like twitch and stuff but if you ignore those of us that are only at say like me at 127 subscribers then you're going to lose a lot of people that could become very popular i would be what's considered at my age at 39 years of age nearly 40 a more mature youtuber so 
I would probably um like be seen by people that are closer to my age. So if there is some support that you can give to people um uh, such as myself, it would be as I said, very, very appreciated because we cannot grow without your help. It is a partnership between the creator and YouTube and the YouTube space. And without you working with us and offering us workshops, things like that, well, I appreciate it costs money to well, run workshops for people that are only on, like, not even 130 subscribers yet after three years, uh, three, four years. But um, just be willing to work with those of us that are trying to grow, that aren't doing it for the money, like a lot of people that do this might be and realise that there is potential in those of us that they are not these big e Paul brothers or PewDiePie or anything like that who have come up and earn all this money from doing let's plays and things. Thank you very much if anyone from YouTube HQ in London is actually listening to this and to all my 127 subscribers that I currently have Thank you for subscribing to me. If you haven't already subscribed and you would like to, please do. Please give this a thumbs up in the yeah, comment section as well. Please leave a comment if um, you feel the same way as I do. And I will hope to see you with a vlog or something as soon as possible. Um, watch this space for great news. And bye for now.